the end of the day, this is not only about making our communities stronger, but make, making our provinces and our nations stronger. And the, and the world is shrinking. We see that on a, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, and the globe is being a much smaller place because of new media opportunities and new technologies. And what better way to instill progress as a nation than partnering communities such as Waterloo and Wood Buffalo? I think collaboratively, not only can we advance our own regions, but I think we can do some great things to be innovators in community capacity building in Canada. Well, here we are. We're two communities that are both uh, innovators and leaders in our country. Waterloo on the technology side and Fort McMurray and Wood Buffalo on the energy side. We're not huge, but we're hugely impactful in terms of the, the uh, economy of Canada and in terms of the amount of jobs that come out of our various industries. So I think these synergies are, are really great. Uh, one of the things with Buffalo has always been curious about is, is whether anybody is going through what we're going through. When we say that, it's been a rapid transition, a lot of growth, uh, change in the community. And I think that Waterloo has rightly come to us saying that, yes, indeed, we've got a lot of similarities between our growth and your growth and the opportunities that we've uh, taken into, into consideration and uh, actually done some great things with. So with Wood Buffalo, if there's anything that we're able to learn from anywhere else, we're not about reinventing the wheel. We're about getting the wheels on quickly and moving forward. So if Waterloo is going to be a facilitator for us to open our eyes to some of our own opportunities, I think that will be very beneficial. One of the things that was a real surprise to me was the extent to which some of our uh, uh, non-profit sector uh, enterprises uh, were asking for things, almost desperate for things, uh, that are plentiful in the community, but they just didn't know how to engage with the folks who, who, who had those resources. I think for these not-for-profits, if they spend their time only on securing money for rent or where they're actually going to have a place to actually set up shop, they can't get creative about the problems that they're trying to help in their sector of the not-for-profit society. So that was a big key, and hopefully that's one of the ideas that we actually take some action on in five years' time. Well, you're taking a picture of us cutting the ribbon at the new and improved Red Pole Center. Because I thought the day uh, certainly brought out um, the passion that people have for the community the, and the uh, social capacity about um, the passion about our quality of life here uh, and about uh, doing everything we can to make it even better than it already is. Well I hope that we make uh, Fort McMurray more of a, of a home than a place of quick opportunity. It was always a good social place to be, but the last five years it's grown so much that it's become a place of fly in, fly out, make a quick buck and get out. And I really want to get back to making Fort McMurray a, a place of, uh, of social awareness, a family, of commitment, and really grow this into a place of, uh, that people can call home for a long, long time. I love the energy in the room. I love the quality of the people I've been able to interact with. I love the diversity of the people in the room. I believe they've brought a lot to add to the richness of the conversation because everybody is from such diverse backgrounds. I am so renewed and so invigorated and so excited and motivated by the energy and the enthusiasm in this room today. I just can't believe it. Yes, the brain and the energy. Great. <laughs>